Right then, let's talk OpenAI. Picture Silicon Valley, December 2015. A group of rather clever chaps, full of ambition and probably caffeine, decided to start a company. They weren't interested in making a quick quid, though. No, these lads wanted to change the world. They called it OpenAI, and their goal was to create something called Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI for short. Basically, they wanted to build a computer that could think for itself, like a really, really smart dog, but without the mess on the carpet, hopefully. Now, these chaps weren't naive. They knew that building a thinking machine wouldn't be cheap, so they decided to start OpenAI as a non-profit. This meant they could attract the best and brightest minds in AI without the pressure of making shareholders happy. It was all terribly noble, really. But building a thinking machine, turns out, that's a bit like trying to build a rocket to the moon using only spare parts and a soldering iron. You need a lot of dosh. Fast forward to 2019. OpenAI realized that to compete with the big boys like Google and Facebook, they needed more than just good intentions. They needed a proper war chest. So they did something a bit controversial. They switched from being a non-profit to a capped profit company. Now, I know what you're thinking. Capped profit sounds a bit fishy, but bear with me. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Essentially, they decided to limit how much profit they could make. Anything over that limit would go back into the company or to good causes. It was a clever move, really. They could attract investors and keep their original mission intact. Now, let's talk about the cool stuff. OpenAI has created some truly mind-boggling technology. First up, we have GPT, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Sounds a bit dull, doesn't it? But trust me, this thing is anything but dull. GPT is a language model that can write just like a human. Give it a topic and it'll churn out an essay, a poem, even a script for a play. It's quite spooky, really. Then there's DAL-E, which is like the artistic cousin of GPT. DAL-E can create images from text descriptions you could ask it to paint a picture of a cat riding a unicorn on the moon and it would do it and it wouldn't look like a five-year-old's finger painting either these images are seriously impressive but wait there's more OpenAI's latest trick is Sora Sora is an AI video generator that can create realistic videos from text prompts it's like something out of Star Trek you can almost hear Scotty saying captain I can change the laws of physics but OpenAI seems to be doing just that. Section four, the price of progress. Now all this innovation doesn't come cheap. OpenAI is burning through cash like a lottery winner on a shopping spree. They're projected to lose a whopping $5 billion in 2024 alone. That's a lot of moolah, even for a company with deep pockets. But they're confident that their investments will pay off in the long run. They're betting big on the future of AI and who can blame them? Section 5. Silicon Valley's Golden Ticket Despite the eye-watering losses, investors are lining up to throw money at OpenAI. They're currently in the middle of a funding round that could value the company at a staggering $150 billion. That's more valuable than some small countries. It seems everyone wants a piece of the AI pie. But it's not all sunshine and roses. OpenAI has faced its fair share of criticism. Some people worry about the ethical implications of their technology. What happens when AI becomes too intelligent? Will it turn on us like in those sci-fi films? These are valid concerns and it's important for companies like OpenAI to proceed with caution. But for now, OpenAI remains at the forefront of the AI revolution. They're pushing the boundaries of what's possible and that's a good thing. After all, who knows what incredible breakthroughs they'll come up with next. Maybe they'll invent a self-driving car that can make a decent cup of tea. Now that would be something.